Hello and what's up guys? Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. And for those of you who are following my channel, uh, welcome back. Uh, right, today I'll be just discussing about this book because some of you are curious about when I showed this book on one of my videos. So, um, this is a good book. Um, although I prefer this one but for those of you who wants to know uh, what this book can offer well all I can say is that this book is for those kids who are not keen on reading the notes because the focus of this book is first it's color coding so your notes are being represented by a color so if your child is not too keen on um, reading notes then this book is a really good book for that a substitute because it also comes with a uh, stickers there you go that you put on your um, keyboard then your child is just looking at the colors and then they can play along. Also, apart from the colors, there's letters as well that they're using. So if your child already knows alphabet, then it's a good way as well because apart from the color coding, there's letters. Right. Having said that, um, pretty much the book uh, offers the same uh, uh, principles or uh, lessons from the other book where you learn about the rhythm, about time signatures. So uh, the, the basics of music is, is there. That's how it's going to look like. And like an emphasis on the beat so this is a three quarters beat so bass then you get snare snare okay so this got more illustrations more drawings for for your kids and the other thing that I, before I forget to mention in this book there are activities like um, drawing coloring um, let's let's skip on that one first, so I can show you one activity mm -hmm. like this one, for example. There are colors, and then the notes with the letter, and you need to match them on your keyboard. So that's a good activity. Let's see some more activity. This one instead of just showing you a drawing of the hand with the numbers they get to trace it and there's numbers so it's fun for the kids there are loads of activities in this book so they don't get bored with all music and notes hence it's a, a good book for kids but as an adult who wanted to learn keyboards Although this is like for young uh, person book as the illustration is portrayed but as an adult I recommend this book it's really really good because you dive in each lesson you learn something that's relevant to the next lesson this one is for your kids and um, it's not really for them to 
be focused more on being a musician but they learn alphabets the colors they might learn few songs on the keyboards but it's a good start for your kids and then as they grow older they will appreciate this book so yeah I would recommend this for really young person around probably when they're four or five that they can appreciate the coloring the uh, alphabets and the activities in this book okay another thing that we need to before we get muddled up and where the conversation will go is like like how they've done it um, they wanted to tell you that with your right hand those are the letters meaning those are the letters that you'll be playing according to this illustration where this is your beat on top so boom pluck pluck boom pluck pluck and then the color coded and then no need for the for your child to know about the rest um, symbol because they will stop playing here but the beat goes on okay uh, it's hard to explain because I'm not used to this like looking at it as color and drawings but I'm trying my best to explain okay so the next page is like they remove the beat and your child will be looking at the letters and the colors and look with this one it means that your child will be holding the note longer I would assume this is your half note those are your quarter notes like that one um, long and short notes so that's your exercise but this is just the beginning of the book the book will progress um, like this one so it will be showing the stave with the equivalent colors on your keyboard so they will sort of still learn the notes so they might learn the notes the stave they might learn uh, with the letters some kids are amazing they just learn it by ear as well they you play it they listen to it they discover how to, to copy uh, what you're doing so there are kids that are more visual like myself if you show me something I will look at it process it in my head and then I'll imitate or do it as well uh, and also hearing but I'm more on visual maybe about 60% hearing and then the reading is around probably 10% 20% with me it's more on visual then hearing and then reading so that's it now there's a stave the color on top if they want to, to use the color where there's this um, long notes the letters and the notes itself on on the stave so here are the numbers for your fingers so they are using the basic principle as well uh, on how to play piano or keyboards. It's just the additional um, technique of teaching the young ones. Here's another activity where they put words and then you write it on the stave so it's familiarizing the stave what are the notes or the letters on the stave at the 
back, we've got registration. So they suggest what uh, tone or voice in each particular exercises. So this is like near the end of the book. You can see that it's a proper notes now with rest, but the color coded um, illustration it remains. So it's really handy for your kids who's just learning colors and can apply their knowledge on this book. And this is only the book one. So there will be another book for this one, but I didn't, uh, I used this few times and then I jumped on this one. And if you, you think that your child is progressing with this book, then buy the, the second book for this one. I think as well, this is cheaper than this one because this one, this one's got CD with it. And um, there are available um, lessons online for this book. They will give you a link. Bought one as a gift and doesn't come with a CD. But there's a link. They give you a link or a code to access online. Uh, what's supposed to be in the CD. Okay, that's it guys. It's like... Uh, Instead of just review of this one, it became more of a comparison. Uh, I would like to thank you all for watching. So, see you again soon. Bye for now.